Joining us on the debate, Charu Pragya, BJP National Spokesperson, Dr. Riju Datta, Spokesperson of the TMC, and Tanvi Das, Political Analyst, is also here with us. Dr. Riju Datta, I was just very curious, how did the Chief Minister say that Sandesh Khali is a bunker of the RSS? The RSS have a big base in Sandesh Khali. But, uh, you know, uh, Padmadiya, let's So how is this relevant to the women your... complaining of sexual assault? What does that I'm have to do to with... I'm, I mean, I'm the sitting MP is yours. You have one election with large margins there. How does this become about the RSS, its bunker, and connecting it to what the women are saying? Because, uh, because the women who are actually saying, as you know, Padmadiya being a very senior journalist, that in the court of law, you need evidence. The women who are masked themselves and giving media bites have none of them. And I'm categorically saying that none of them has filed a single complaint of rape or sexual torture to the commissions or to the police. Let me also, let me finish. The BJP observer of Sandesh Khali, Mr. Vikas Singh, and the ex-CPM MLA Mirabat Chardar, who was arrested by the West Bengal police to incite violence, they were stationed in Sandesh Khali for the last 10 years. Why, in the last 10 years, not a BJP or CPM has even raised one voice of torture against the women of Chandish Kali? Why all of a sudden? And now Amit Malviya, being the fake news peddler he is, is going on uh, peddling lies. Hmm. I am categorically saying on record, last time also, Padmaja, on your show, I said that women from BJP are being transported to Chandish Kali, who are giving bites to the media. And I'm telling today also, when Shukanta Mojumdar, the BJP state president, fell on the bonnet of a car, which BJP MP Lockett Chatterjee said that the Trinomul goons have got him, he fell on the bonnet of the car because of so the... So hold on, hold on, we're confusing too many things. So just, BJP, just out of curiosity, out of curiosity, how do you know that these women are BJP women? Because they have masks on. No, because this one of them, one of those particular women, appeared on a media channel, in Bengali media channel yesterday, and was with Shukanta Mojumdar on the bonnet of the car when the, the fellow fell down. And it's instantly, Amit Malvi and BJP MPs are saying Trinomul has hit him. That there's a clear footage that Shukanta Mojumdar... Okay, fell again, this is not about Shukanta Mojumdar falling down. First of all, for this chief minister to say that these women are wearing masks, they are alleging sexual assault. What do you expect them to do? To sit there with their identities exposed? It is literally a criminal offence to expose the identity of a sexual assault victim. So even if they weren't wearing the mask, we would have blurred their face. We cannot show their face. But because they are covering their face, you are saying that they are suspect. My humble submission to you and to the viewers of Times, now one of the biggest channels of this country is this. They can cover their faces with masks, no issues. Now Sheikh Shahjahan is not there, he's absconding. The other people who have been targeted by the villagers in complaints of torture are not there. There is force on the ground, four DG officers are there. A DIG post, uh, cadre, a DIG level female inspector is there, all commissions are there. Why are they not giving a written complaint? That okay, respond to this because this is what it always boils down to. There is a 10 member team, Charu Pragya. Sheikh Shahjahan is absconding. Uttam Sardar is in jail. Why is nobody filing a complaint? So let's start from the beginning, Padmaja. And I will request Mr. Datta that on this topic to not interrupt me. Let's talk about the so-called sisterhood that women are supposed to be a part of. Let's understand that Mamta Banerjee has effectively resigned from any kind of a sisterhood after her speech in the assembly today. She has fair and squared done victim blaming. She says every woman who's been a victim to the atrocities of the crimes committed by TMC leaders are now the ones who are at fault. Why? For merely existing in a state that is ruled by TMC. That's it. That's their fault. Now two questions. You are asking me why an FIR has not been filed. Do you realize that an FIR has to be filed with the West Bengal police? The very same West Bengal police that in the dead of the night went knocking on the doors of these women threatening them with dire consequences 
consequences to their husbands, to their children, if they dare to speak out. In fact, last time a terrible incident had happened in West Bengal, FIR was not registered. A 63-year-old woman had to come to Delhi to the Supreme Court and then the Supreme Court directed West Bengal police to file an FIR. So I don't know what you're talking about. And lastly, if you will expel Uttam Sardar from the TMC for everything that has gone on in Sandesh Khali and for the systematic exploitation of women for years altogether, okay. why not take the same action against Sheikh Shah Jahan? Tell me, you want to suspend one and send a message of trying to be fair, but the real perpetrator, who's also an ED accused, who's lovingly called bhai, मतलब किसी को भाई कब बोला जाता है पंचमदा when he's a criminal okay, a भाई